Hey guys, LJ Massey here. Welcome back to Extreme Rules, where we are going to be in the first Asylum match. And in this match, it's going to be Dean Ambrose, who I am, and Kane is Chris Jericho. Hi guys. Let's get straight into it. Here we go, the cage is coming down. First Asylum match ever, Ambrose v Jericho. Come on, Ambrose. So in this match on Raw, it was probably one of the best promos that Dean Ambrose has ever cut. Like, it was scary, it was extreme, and I think in this match we need to see blood. This is why this is my blood match pick for Extreme Rules. I think his character needs it, his fans are needing it, and he's got his personality and his moves need it. You know what I mean? Like, having blood for Ambo Bros makes him successful, and that is what is needed. And it's the only way that you can make a cage match the best cage match. So, obviously, on whilst I'm playing the game, I can only do a cage match. I can't do this asylum match. But, to be honest, it just looks very as if it is as if WWE have um, copied TNA. And I know I'm going to get a couple of haters here saying, well, no, why? WWE in no shape, way, shape or form have copied TNA. Yes, they have. The, the Asylum match looks a lot like Lethal Lockdown. Which, if you don't know what Lethal Lockdown is because you don't watch TNA, it is a, a cage match and then a, the roof of the cage drops after a while. Of being in the match, and on top of the, uh, on the, on the, um, on the top of the cage is has a load of weapons attached to it, which can then be used in the cage match. And the only way to win is by pin. So that that this is why I think this match is going to be incredible. Um, I'm going to go with a Dean Ambrose win. Kane, what do you think about this match? I'm saying Dean Ambrose with a win. And why? Because Dean Ambrose, he just, it do not look like he, he's getting that many wins at the moment, which is the way he is though. But he needs it, kind of. So Dean Ambrose needs this win, you're trying to say? Yeah, because like... He's not getting enough to push himself further. Yeah, like a couple of weeks ago what he did with Jericho's jacket was just lunatic. And that's basically... What we need to see from him. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just showed don't mess with Mitch the plant. <laughs> and uh, again, it, it, it just shows um, Ambrose proved that he can be lunatic again. He destroyed Chris Jericho's $15,000 jacket. And, well, you know, that's a lot of money. And Jericho trying to escape here now. And pulled down. And, oh, he went to go for the... Uh, and Codebreaker! Ambrose went to go for the Dirty Deeds. And Codebreaker from Jericho... And that, ladies and gentlemen, could be it. But Ambrose slowly getting up here now. He needs to get over to Jericho fast. And Jericho drops down because he sees Ambrose coming. Here we go. DDT. Not quite dirty deeds, but... Very close, yeah. So, for you, is there any way that Jericho is going to win this match? Um, only if, like... A distraction happens. Like, to be honest, what I actually want to see is a distraction of Seth Rollins coming back and then Ambrose getting angry with Seth Rollins. What to spark that feud again? Yes. That's a possibility, but I think Seth Rollins will just go back for his world title personally. No, because what I'm going at is I'm saying Seth, so it makes it Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam. No, I think that will be the plan for WrestleMania, but 
it is a possibility. I think Jericho can win, and the the way I think that is because um obviously he's going to be very angry. His fifteen thousand dollar jacket just got destroyed. Um, I think to to keep the feud going, it has to. It, I think Jericho would have to win. Um, so. I, I am still going to say Ambrose, but there, there isn't a possibility why he couldn't uh, win this match, Jericho. Big clothesline there. And here we go again. Netbreaker by Ambrose. And what we're going to see now. Again, a reversal of the Dirty Deeds. And Codebreaker again. And Jericho's going for the pin. One. Two. And a kick out by Ambrose. And Jericho's going to try and climb. I don't think he's done near enough to get Ambrose out of this match. Yet again. He's gone to the jump. And what a move. Ambrose must be out of this match. He's gone for the pin. One. And a kick out there by Ambrose. But both guys basically have got their finishes now. As long as they can hit their signatures. And Jericho's going to go for the walls. Walls of Jericho being applied here now. Ambrose needs to get out of this. And he is. He does get out of it. Now will Jericho go for that code breaker? No, he's going to go for the walls of Jericho again, but more painfully now. The Lion Tamer locked in. And that's probably enough now to see Jericho get over the cage. And Jericho is out. Ambrose can't believe it. He has lost his first Asylum match. And Jericho gets the win. So Jericho gets the win in the first ever Asylum match against Dean Ambrose. If you did like this video, please leave a like. Comment your predictions for Extreme Rules. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. In a bit, guys. See ya!